I think where I'm stood here, there was a very, very deep well. We've transferred this marked line down here, and we've measured to where the brickwork is going to be starting. Old school foundation. I can't remember the last time I built a foundation. And good morning. On this very brisk day, it is Tuesday the 4th of April, and we are back at Jason's job. And this time we have a new project, no lintels this time. We have a little L-shape extension to do, and just a quick one. I think where I'm stood here, there was a very, very deep well. I think Dad's going to put a picture up while I'm talking about this. But I think, if I remember right, there was like over 11 cube of concrete gone in there so that's a lot of bloody concrete I'm glad we never dug up any of that in our extensions knock on wood but that's all filled up now and concreted so our job is going to be get up to DPC with the yeah, with these coursing bricks and uh, yeah go up to DPC level and then I don't know what's happening from there but that's that's our task for today I think at some point these drains are going to get moved as well, so hopefully that might be done if we're coming back. So, and got our water. We, I'm just going to go help Dad get some stuff now because I kind of left him <laughs> to do this little intro. So I will catch you in a bit. Probably time lapse our loading out. See you then. So since uh, since the camera was rolling, we've just done got started with a bit of setting up. Uh, I've got a little. Little laser level operating, and what we've done so far is we've transferred this marked line down here, and we've measured to where the brickwork is going to be starting, and we've got 2530. So obviously now we're going to transfer 2530 onto that side, and then we'll know where the brickwork's going up to on that side. Did you explain about the? Yeah, how much was in there? Um, these, I put a picture up on screen of uh, the ladder, and th well, that ladder. I'll show you. But anyway, I think I worked it out judging by the ladder rungs. It's about eleven feet deep, just on this corner. As you can see, there's a big hole, and this is it's a well. It was a stone well, so they had to get this, dig it all out, get back down to solid clay. And Jason said, by the time it's concreted, they had to get a pump as well. I think he said 11.4 cube went into the first pour and then it's been poured again to level it off so I'm not sure what was in the second pour, I forgot to ask so there's, you're probably talking getting off a 14 cube going in here for this little extension which is, it's an important part of the, part of the house because this is going to be like the plant room with all the underfloor heating and everything and all the electrics and everything comes into this room I think it's going to be utility as well and um, Last one is we're using this today. Kai wheat. This was sent to us. Uh, too long ago. Yeah, we've had it a long time. This and we've actually found it. I've only ever used this once before. And it's on this to sort to level the lintels. But what we're doing here, if you grab the camera, mate, I'll explain. So thank you to Kai wheat for for sending us this so long ago, and we're mm. sorry that it took us this long to use it. So if you look at this how scabby it is and there's a fascia board in the way and there's a starter thing in the way of the render so actually finding a point to plumb down to get down to the concrete is near impossible so what we do with this thing is it's not ideal with the sun shining is set that up like that there you go there you go so way out there at the moment that it's over there look there's our line see there bring it a little bit closer so we can they can see it properly do you want to take that a sec yeah we we'll go right over that way yeah shine it on the bottom bit you can see it better yeah that's go, go, keep going over this is the bit we need to we need to be over here bring me out the way I'll stop out there, okay? So, if I put my hand there, I can just 
just about see the laser level in the centre of my palm or on the tip of my finger. So what that does is it shines the line, just see it there, if I keep getting in the way. So that transfers the line down for us right down to the concrete. So we can mark on there and we can mark on the concrete. It's not set at the moment and also it's got the square line on it as well. So when we've paralleled that line across to the 2530, we can put a mark on and set the laser up on the mark and then line it up with this side. So then that gives us this line and then it gives us a square line back to there and it'll, it'll tell us whether this, this is an extension and this is the original house. So this will tell us how square they got the extension and then we'll probably just make it work. <laughs> Oh yeah, as we always do. Yeah, so this is really handy, this. So we're not currently using it as a level, we're using it as a... Square. As a square, yeah. And uh, to transfer level, transfer our dimensions. Yeah, I like it. And we might just put it, set it up as a laser just to check Jason. I think we've got a couple of pegs there. A couple of pegs there. I think he said the pegs were for the floor level. I think he said about eight courses and it's 73 mil concrete commons, two skins with a 150 mil cavity, our first 150 mil cavity. Um I have to check we've got some tie wires, because we're gonna need tie wires in it. Well, we've got the box with the still so. Yeah. Six inch cavity though, they're long enough. Mm, that's true. So there yeah, we'll put you back in time, that's why we get the rest of this set out. And then we'll start loading out, get a mix in with our pimped up mixer. Try that again with the mics on. Yeah, we're we're getting there. We've got a load of bricks thrown in, a load of 73 mil commons. A few more to get in yet, but uh, bread was frozen this morning. So Christine has just driven down with our sandwiches for us. So Alex is in the van currently. I'm just having a quick recap. <coughs> so we've worked everything out. We parallel off this wall, and when we square back this way. We were coming to like here, so the actual building's out of square. So what we've done is we've dragged that end behind us. We've pulled that end out to line up with this. So but it's it's 30 mil on the whole building. So it, it's um it's it's got to line up because it's got to be rendered through. So there's no use plonking it to the if that makes sense. So that was done with the laser level for the, for squaring up, which we've done, never done before. That was great. That. We'd never have transferred this down with a level. Look at the state of that. So that was done with the laser line. Alex has marked it back. And even when we build this corner up here, we can put the laser back in the corner. Then we've transferred it over to here. This is our, these pegs are our floor datum and DPC. Jason's put one in here, one here, one there, one just through the side of them bricks and one in the corner next to the toolbox. So when we brought the level in here and set it up, keep clicking and then it goes, that's it. That brings you just to level. If you look on this here, you see that now. It's just a mill down from the top of that. Now Jason's old school, he hasn't got laser levels and stuff. He's done all this with the straight edge and we've actually checked over here. Checked all the pegs couple of mil down there. We're actually going out the sun now so we'll be able to see the laser level better soon. So I put a shadow on here and that don't stand in the way. Just, just make it out again a mil down from the top. 
you can't see that on the camera because I can barely see it with my own eyes. I think we have a brightness on here. If you click this button. No, that was on full brightness. So we've put bricks in the way this one, but we've already checked it. It's bang on. So we can transfer that back to the so yeah, Jason's levels are perfect. The building's slightly out of square, probably 30 mil, but look at the state of it, it's an old building with an extension on it. You just gotta follow what's here. So yeah, we can um, switch the laser off now. First time we've used it properly, you're absolutely made up with it. See what it's throwing the line around inside there, because we're in the, out of the sun here. It's belting, made up with it. Yeah, Kai Wheats. Cracking pit of kit that. We'll definitely be using it more. We forgot the uh, the proper rotary level, but that, that, what a faff that would be to set up. Yeah, this is a lot easier without the staff and that. So that's our view. We're gonna have a break, get the rest of the brick in, and then Alex is gonna get a mix and we're gonna get cracking. I think there's about 400 in it. So we need to pull our fingers out to get this done today. There's a few lintels to go in and stuff, but we need to speak to Jason about that. Jason's not here today. So Jason let us know about that. So we'll catch you after brew. Right, as always, day one on the job. There's always a lot of messing about, setting out levels, set, uh, all that palaver. So we've got our lines now. That laser's brilliant. There's our uh, damp quartz levels right up there underneath that pipe. It's gonna be a bit awkward. Uh, yeah, that's, we've got eight courses, this ends 10 mil high, so we know that we'll get that in, in eight courses easy. As I say, it's eight courses. We've got a lintel in here, two lintels in here to take this duct and this duct through back into the plant room. I think that's power and stuff to the swimming pool. Then straight run, then roughly about three three brick in, and then we're going to leave about two and a half, maybe three brick wide opening. We've got two, four, three lintels in there. That's going to leave a nice big wide opening because that's that drain pipe there there has to come through and out there so Jason wants to keep it as, as shallow as possible no no sharp bends to go out for rodding purposes so we'll just put a nice big hole in there and then back to here as you can see that's clay tiny bit of concrete because this is the extension if that's used concrete and then a bit rope up to damp so yeah it's all brick work up to damp same as that so it'll be t uh, the same as that, so it'll be brick work up to damp plus two, then the black work. As soon as there's a couple on, we can run a few in and get the lintel on, and I can carry on the corner over the top then. This is not going to have a screen in here like they did in the house, this is going to have a concrete floor straight up because there's no underfloor heating, with it being a plant room stroke um, utility room. It's going to be a lot of cupboards and stuff, so there's no point putting underfloor heating in it. But all the underfloor heating comes, this is where the manifold is. So. Once that mix is ready, we'll get cracking. We're out of the sun now, so we can see the laser. It saved us so much hassle trying to get that line transferred down there. Fantastic, so made up with that. And then, yeah, that's it. I'll just load this out and we'll get cracking.
four courses down. Have we? All right. Yeah. Okay. No, he, I've said he picked it up. Both sides jointed now. Mm -hmm. Both sides jointed. Yeah.
cavity. Hmm? Down the cavity. I don't to be filled in there. And there we have it. What is it, all about quarter to five? Five. Five. I tell you what, that's not bad. Oh. Old school foundation. I can't remember the last time I built a foundation out of bricks. So, mind you, we just struggle with the trench block because it's, it's, it's one of those cavities. It's a 150. You can actually stand in there. Cavity's that big, you can get my boot in there. So yeah. Oh. Oh. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here because I can't bend my legs properly. So there's the um, lintel for the cables, that blue duct and the black duct coming through into here. And then that one's, you can see those, those two lintels are offset. Because the drain's coming out here. And it's gonna sweep round into the, so it's, we've put them offset. So it's, it's a bigger gap basically on the angle. Yeah, um, eight course, double skin. Do we even count how many bricks are in it? Can do a quick count up. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. It's about two forty on the outside skin. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably about twenty less. It's probably about four hundred and eighty brick in it. Yeah. Maybe 450. That's not bad because in the late start we had. And the lintels of course. That's now the lintels. It was very, very hard to set out as we showed you with the laser, which was a massive help. You can see all that, look at that. Jason's done a lot of patching up on this. It's actually gonna be that's gonna be into the house, that's into the kitchen. I don't know what, I think that might be a downstairs toilet. It's going to be a utility plant room and then if you look upstairs there where Jason's done that, it's going to have a single story with a flat roof and it's going to be his balcony. So you can walk out the master bedroom out onto the balcony and admire the swimming pool. Very nice. Yeah, so we're done. So I'll hand you over to your man over there. We will be back to build it, but what that's once Jason's had the floor done and everything. Better not be all in bricks. <laughs> I, want some, I want some block in there. So, as you see, that is it done. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more of this and everything else, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell so that you're always notified whenever we upload. As always, a massive help, and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next video.